Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you my 2020 bullet journal setup. So this is my bullet journal that I use as a planner. So I definitely wanted to show you how I set it up and everything. I was planning to film it, but I just kind of worked on it slowly every now and then. So here it is. I'm also going to show you my January setup. Once again, I was going to do a plan with me, but there are just too many videos I need to film. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to quickly do it off camera, but I'm going to show you all the spreads today. So once again, I'm using my favorite Archer and Olive notebook. So I'll leave it linked in the description, but I just love it because it's just so stunning, super high quality, and it has like the silver edges, and it also does have the two little ribbon bookmarks. So yes, let's get in. So first, obviously I just have my name, and I have this little key, which I will show you how that works later on. So yes, 2020 planner. I just did like a simple title page because I was not happy with my title page that I did in my reading bullet journal setup, but anyway. <laughs> So first we have this spread which is just my to-do list because I like to have like just a huge to-do list of things that I want to do, obviously. <laughs> I don't know why I tried to explain that, but anyway. So basically I just have these two sheets of paper stuck in with some washi tape. So once I fill out the list and cross off the items on the list, I can just take the page out and then put in a new page. So yeah, and this washi tape is from Paper Geek Co. And I believe these stickers are from Hello Wildflower on Etsy. So the next spread is my 2019 res oh my god 2020 resolutions. So once again this washi tape is from Paper Geek Co. This is from Daiso from my local store. So I've obviously written only one resolution but I'm planning to add more. But yeah and then I have birthdays and Scruffy information. So Scruffy is my dog this little cutie. <laughs> I just used my Fememo sticker printer to print this little sticker. So cute. So I just have his tablets that he needs to take this year and then I'm also going to track his vet appointments. And then on the left we have birthdays so here I'm just going to write down the dates of my friends and family's birthdays. Once again this washi tape is from Paper Geek Co. It's one of my favorites but the only bad thing is I don't know if you can see but like once I closed it it kind of transferred here so there's like some black markings so that's sort of annoying but I still do love that washi tape. Okay so now I just have like my 2020 calendar so I have January to June and then I have July to December. So obviously this is nice to just see all the months in one page. Well two spreads. <laughs> Yeah, so I just have each month's calendar and then this is where the key comes in. So I use this key for certain things. So obviously pink is public holiday, blue is event, yellow is traveling. So if I'm going somewhere, the circle is appointment and the square is birthday. So I still need to finish filling this out. But yeah, I'm super happy with how it turned out. And then I just left two blank spreads just in case I want to add something. I was thinking of adding like dentist appointments and chiropractor appointments, just like those kind of general health things but I haven't fully decided yet so I just left this blank because I probably will want to add a spread later on once I decide. Then I have 2020 in pictures and I definitely got this idea from Amanda H. Lee so I just created space for January to December so it goes on to the next page too and every month I will print out a photo of like my favorite memory or photo of that month and I've always loved Amanda H. Lee's spreads like this so I definitely wanted to do like a similar thing and I'm so excited to see it fill out throughout the year but yes yeah, so I just added some little washi tape too and I might add some more decorations once I actually stick in the photo but yes yeah, super excited about this and I've left this spread empty I think I might do like a collage of like even though I have the photos here maybe like other photos that I didn't include here of like you know my full 2020 or something maybe I'll do something like that then I have my 2020 trips how cute is this little aeroplane sticker? But yeah, so basically I will write down all the trips that I've planned for this year. Currently I don't have any, but hopefully I will have some trips going on in 2020. So I'll write it down and then I'll color code it so blue is international and pink is domestic. I did a similar thing in my 2019 journal. So this is my 2019 journal. So yeah, I just did like the month, the dates, who I went with, obviously where I went with the color coding and why I went there. So, oh, I forgot to color code this actually. But anyway, <laughs> by the way, I think I'm going to do a flip through of my 2000. 19 but I might not because I just feel like it's too personal because I have like obviously all of my to do and like appointments and everything in there so I don't know if I'm actually going to do a flip through maybe but I don't know so then I have videos to film books with Chloe and then I also have for journal with Chloe and ASMR with Chloe so these are my three YouTube channels they are always linked in my description but yeah in case you didn't know I do have three YouTube channels you're currently on journal with Chloe in case you didn't know <laughs> I wanted to have these spreads because I do have lists on my computer of like all these videos that I want to 
film for each channel but sometimes I just want to like have a physical list so I want to write the top priority videos that I need to film for each channel on these lists and once again I've just used washi tape to stick in these pages so once I film all these videos I can just take this out and put in a new page but yes yeah, so I'm really happy with these spreads and I used my Fememo printer to print out the logos okay so now we're up to my January spreads so as you can see I went with like this pink heart theme inspired by this washi tape which I believe I showed in a previous stationery haul but I can't remember where it's from at the moment it might be Dudu Naru on Etsy so yes January 2020 I also used these cute stickers so we have the little strawberries and cream sticker which is super cute and if you have watched any of my plan with me's for my planner for 2019 you will notice that I've done a slightly different approach so in my 2019 journal I was using these Dutch doors so I could see the calendar on the left and my to-do list on the right and I actually might go back to that but for now I'm just trying to test out what's the best system for me so for this month I actually just did my little calendar here with all my events and then I have a section for notes and then I have to do so this will be my monthly to-do list and then I have my same spreads that I usually do so I have my habit tracker and my weekly to do and before you say anything I already know <laughs> I accidentally did boxes of 30 days which obviously needs to be 31 but whatever so yes I have my habits that I want to track then I have my weekly to do so these are tasks that I need to do once a week so I have every week of the month and I color it in once I do that task so yeah I decided to do these weekly spreads instead of the Dutch doors so yeah I'm just gonna test it out and see what works best for me but basically I usually have a longer list of things to do on Saturday and Sunday because I do work from Monday to Friday so I usually have a lot more to do on Saturday and Sunday like different tasks and stuff for my channels so I do like to have more space for Saturday and Sunday so I thought this would be a good layout for me so obviously because the first starts on Wednesday I just did to do this week and then Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and then I will just do Monday to Friday Saturday Sunday so yeah it's definitely quite simple I obviously just added the washi tape to add a little something and some stickers so yeah I just use the same layout for each week so yeah I'm gonna see how it goes I don't know what I'm gonna do here yet maybe I'll just do this for extra notes even though I do have this section for notes too but yeah that's pretty much it I just decided to do this because I feel like I didn't actually need to see the to-do list and my monthly plans on the same page like I can just easily flip here so I thought this would be okay but yeah I'm gonna see how I feel about it in January and we'll see what I do for February but let me know what you think of this theme I think it's super cute but yeah that's pretty much it for my planner let me know if you have any ideas of like spreads that I could add because I do have this space that I can use but I'm really happy with how I set it up and I'm excited to start fresh I actually was going to just continue using my old planner because I do still have quite a few pages left but I knew this was not going to obviously be enough for the whole year so I thought I would just want to start fresh and I can just use these pages for like doodling or whatever I want to do with it but yes yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you're having a good day or night and I'll see you in my next one